what is multi stage sampling up to now in previous lectures we discussed about simple random sampling stratified random sampling systematic sampling and cluster sampling all the four techniques are for one step sampling here we are discussing about multi stage why do we need multi stage especially for large scale survey if your study population is very large it is difficult to use one stage sampling technique even though it is cluster sampling assume that this is the total population where we have we have four clusters but still assume that this single cluster may contain 20 million people or 20 million animals it will be difficult to do the research even using cluster sampling in such situations assume that this is the population we have three clusters and we pick one randomly so this is our cluster assume that it has several districts you pick this one randomly and from this one assume that there are several villages you take one village randomly and you screen everybody in this village or still if this is very large you can go for further steps or else you can do simple random sampling or any other one stage sampling technique to select a sample from here or else you can modify this multi stage sampling in many other ways assume that there are three clusters each cluster has separate parts you can pick one from here one from here one from here so you will be getting three different components assume that these are states and these are provinces and this may have very small parts and from provinces you can go for divisions so like that you can select several of the small components from each large component and go up to go until the smallest size that you achieve multi stage sampling and especially for cluster sampling as we are taking a small sample for large population the probability of having bias is very high however we are using these techniques for large scale surveys and large scale studies one more important thing is you can combine several sampling techniques for this procedure you may be selecting provinces from states using simple random sampling and from this to here stratified random sampling and maybe you are applying systematic sampling next like that you can combine the sampling techniques as well keep in mind most important thing is if you are planning a research first most important thing is you must be clear about your objective according to the objective you have to select the sample in such case you have to be careful about low bias high precision and high accuracy in next few lecture series we are going to discuss about non probability sampling techniques